Greetings, I'm Shivali and I bid you welcome to the situation in Kaido of Lithuania. Lithuania is one of the biggest nations in the East European region. They are quite big as you can see. Unfortunately there is a duchy, which they are quite bad, although they say Grand Duchy is still a duchy. And you'll need a little bit more uh, government, a uh, little more development actually from the kingdom. Other than this, they can get the, the pew, and they can have a pew with Poland quite easily. That will also allow them to create the to create a commonwealth. Pretty much standard stuff there. Pretty some decent amount of events as well, especially after from the commonwealth. Uh, and they are, I'll say, medium to easy level to play as. They are big, they are strong, although there are some uh, problems with religion. As you can see here, they, they need to core plenty of stuff. You can also switch to Orthodox if you want to. Uh, don't recommend it, you might want to switch to Trans Protestant if you feel like it. Plenty of options there on religion, so do not uh, get underwhelmed by by the current situation. Now let's just delve into, into, into the situation and let's go into cash. On economy, you make a decent amount of cash if you kill off the maintenance. You have a little bit of a fleet, which is mainly in the Black Sea, where you'll want to fight Crimea and expand into Crimea quite easily, and the hordes as well. But first, let's talk about all of the cash here. You also have two forts, and uh, if you kill them, you'll make six ducats. Pretty nice, I'll say. Uh, you might be able to get some advisors, I'll say two advisors as plus two. I want a plus one so you can afford some advisors. Uh, you'll go on deficit if you go to war, so try to be careful that, with that as well. Though you can uh, remake, uh, make that cash by looting and uh, getting the the reparations. Now let's delve into trade. At this point in time, as you can see here, you are collecting Kiev. You're push, you're pushing from Crimea, and you're also collecting in Novgorod. Or yes, you're collecting to Nov or to in Kiev, and you're pushing to the Baltic Sea. My recommendation is to simply switch this to collect. You're getting no power from collecting into the Bal Baltic Sea, and primarily rely on Kiev for the start. Later on, moved into the Baltic Sea, followed by Lubeck, followed by the English Channel. But this is going to be uh, quite late in the game. You will not be uh, be able to access one of the entry nodes quite early. You're most likely gonna be able to switch trades for a trade from the guys here, from Siberia, from Samarkand, from Astrakhan, Crimea, Russia, mainly expanding into the Ottomans, Moscovy, and these immediate regions. You can, to some degree, move the train to the end trade of into Novgorod or the Baltic Sea. It's up to you how, to, how do you want to pull it off. Although I recommend feeding this lands here to Poland because they currently have. 14 provinces and you can actually annex them when they have a minimum minimum of 32 no less than the 24 so you can feed them 10 provinces mainly from the teutonic order here uh, if you take Mazovi as well yeah try to be careful with the uh, with regions there uh, this is all for trade let's go into the states and in the states you have the cossacks right oh that's so nice so cossacks are Quite nice, you can get uh, uh, a prestige, you can get calf, uh, as well as you can get some infantry, the same as the tribes, and you have the recruiter minister, which gives you a two skill army reformer, which is quite excellent. As you can see, though, the Cossacks have 29% control of their own land, so try to be careful there as well, which is quite annoying. You might want to remove some lands from the Cossacks uh, earlier on. Learning this, let's delve into every estate here. Uh, on the burgers, you cannot give them that many lands. As you can see here, they only have. No, this is Cossacks owned. Uh, you cannot feed them these lands here because you, uh, there's no port. They start no, there to. Oh, you can actually fit this. It's a territory. Man, this is bullshit. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> My bad. So this is quite bad. Uh, you can fit this if you can make it into a territory. If you can uh, make it to a core, you can fit this to the burgers later on. Keep that in mind. As for the early game, you can't do anything. You need to have over, uh, not over, you need to have, what, uh, 30 influence to be able to pull this off. 
then grab monopolies them to some other stuff. For the clergy here, you need to give them some lands to go, uh, go to 30. It's up to you. I recommend giving them lands that are part of the uh, that are basically orthodox, so that you'll have uh, faster uh, anagonization conversion of uh, the culture, the culture, the religion. So that means that you can actually seek support. Then you can actually take uh, their increase their minister. Whatever it's up to you. you must make sure that you go over to 75. You can do this, this, and this. You can go over 75, and you can actually demand. And this is gonna go down to 46. Remember that uh, you should wait till you get to 60, so you can actually get the yeah, the influence, uh, people influence, and the stability cost. So you can actually get the stability cheaper first. For the oh, so the Cossacks have to. Sorry, my bad. So the Cossacks have to. I'll talk about this soon. So the nobility here already at 65. Quite annoying. Try to remove lands from the nobility if at all possible. Uh, for now, just uh, call a diet and uh, demand military support. The once it go, uh, goes up to 50, just try to remove lands from the Cossacks, from the nobility. That will help you deal with uh, with them. Now let's go into the Cossacks here. You'll need to have a decent amount of influence of the Cossacks. So, what you can do right now is to give them lands. To give them lands, you have to give them provinces that have steps. So to do that, you need to actually have uh, Yedisan, the province, uh, the basically here. What's it called? Uh, Zapotaria and Yedisan to basically be your cores, your of course, your uh, yeah, yeah, your cores, not the uh, your what's it called estates. Sorry, to be your state and then given to the Cossacks. For now, you only contain one province that has the the steps, so you cannot give that many lands to the Cossacks. Later on, just feed them some more land so you can actually take the options here, which is raise Costa Host and Recruit Minister. Now, let's delve into the court, and I recommend going for this. And here, I recommend uh, getting the Missionary Strength guy, getting the uh, Diplomatic Reputation guy. Remember that as soon as you actually remove. Uh, points of influence from the this guy here you can actually recruit a minister keep this in mind and you'll be able to actually get this guy here the patronation of our time guy as for this side here you're gonna want to get the guy from here the manpower guy from the cossacks the army reformer here no the army reformer yeah, is the manpower guy i think uh, but yeah once you get this you're gonna be able to get a plus two guy for half a cost but for now, just get the land maintenance modifier or discipline or whatever you have. Now, if you see here, you're a Grand Duke. As I said before, you're age 16. And uh, you have a decent amount of stuff. You have the uh, tech cost minus 5%, the yearly corruption minus 0.5, no legal error, and no consort. Uh, you're quite young and you have a decent amount of points, just 9. Uh, you should die quite fast, honestly. Uh, you are. At a half point, you should be. You should try to strive for air that has more points than you. Uh, nothing much more to say here. You can get the peer with Poland uh, if they have a leader on of the same culture. Royal badge, pretty much standard mechanics for switching culture or uh, switching. Uh, no, getting a peer with uh, an enemy, with uh, not an enemy, with a neighbor or a royal marriage, whatever you want to call it. Let's go into government. You're a Grand Duchy, you have Pampor, you have income from vassals, pretty standard stuff. You have accepted some culture Ruthenian, Lithuanian, and Belarusian. But Ruthenian is your main culture because you're in a Baltic group. And uh, you have an accept of Razan and Polish. Razan is uh, basically here. Uh, you can also switch to Ruthenian and form Ruthenia uh, earlier on. I recommend going to the wiki and checking that guide out. Uh, this is recommended because, as you can see here, there are more Lithuanian cultures than Lithuanian cultures. So you're gonna be uh, better off doing and uh, switching to, to Ruthenian or even Moscow right later on. So you can actually have uh, to form Russia if you want to go with that route. And that is it on government. Let's go into diplomacy. 
here on Diplomacy, you'll get an alliance with Poland, you'll get an alliance with Novgorod, and uh, simply move against Moscow as soon as possible. We'll talk about this in the expansion guide. But you'll also try to try to fight against Ottomans and try to step against uh, to fight against Denmark, Sweden, and uh, Norway in the Kalmar Union. There, uh, priority targets for rivals are, as you can see, plenty of options: Teutonic Order, uh, Livonia Order, if at all possible, uh, Livonia Order, Moscow, uh, Moscow v. Crimea, Denmark, uh, what, Great Horde, I guess they switched from Golden Horde to Great Horde, the Great Horde as well, so plenty of options there that you can actually rival. Uh, recommended are the Teutonic Order, the Livonian Order, so they can attack them as early as possible and feed lands to, the, uh, then feed lands to Poland, uh, to the point where actually you'll try to leave the Teutonic Order to be part of the HRE uh, by uh, ma making sure that they switch their capital to Newmark. But this is part of the part of the expansion guide. Other than this, there's not mu uh, nothing much more to say. Just use the standard guide for rivaling and taking allies. We talked about cash trade. Let's talk about technology. You have no social penalty right now, but later on you're going to have some issues with Renaissance because every ta every institutions every institution sorry is gonna slowly and slowly slowly move into here. It's gonna take you quite a while for them to move into Lithuania. So you might want to, if you have some free, uh, free points there, to actually uh, build up the lands here. Simply because they have the farmlands and you can actually build them more cheaply. At the same time you're gonna increase uh, the stuff here. How should I put it? You are going to increase uh, the development of the uh, Ruthenian culture, which will allow you to switch to Ruthenia and uh, to switch to Moscow later on if you want to do it. Other than this, there's nothing much more to say. Oh, sorry. Let's uh, say on the development here on, on the states. So let's move into the text. On the text here, just boost up to take 5. Try to use the modifiers in every category. Boost to take 5 so you can actually take the first idea. For Diplo safe, so you can get your first uh, idea quite fast, uh, to take the first ideas, basically, idea slots. Uh, for military, just uh, take it when you feel threatened, or when you have to go to war. Uh, and uh, for the rest of the situation, just try to use the modifiers as much as possible. Uh, that was quite uh, fast speaking. Let's go into ideas. You have the Pamper Recovery Speed and Tolerance of Heretics. Quite nice, it's gonna allow you to keep um, the Orthodox lands in check, as well as keep the lands of the basically of the Great Horde, the, the Sun regions in check as well. It's Hidden or Heretics. No, it's only Heretics, so only Orthodox, my bad. So only Orthodox are gonna be kept in check by uh, by this. As for this, as for the first uh, ideas that you have, you have the Land Leader Shock plus one, quite nice, stability, useless. You have the National Tax Modifier, Decent, you have the Production Efficiency, Decent, you have the Calf Compatibility plus 20%, Excellent, you have the National Rest minus 2, Excellent as well, and you have the Tech Cost minus 5%, Excellent, and you have the Land Leader Maneuver, not that great. Overall the ideas are Decent, uh, I would say Decent plus, I'll say uh, maybe a B, uh, B grade on ideas. For the National idea, for the for the National Ideas, yeah, uh, you should go for influence followed by admin, so you can actually uh, it's just standard land ex land expansion, uh, land expansion influence followed by admin followed by religious and humanist, and a military idea. Put this standard stuff here. Uh, you might want to go for a diplomatic idea if you want to. So go influence uh, admin followed by religious followed by humanist for for diplomatic, so you can actually have the the diplomat there. It's gonna be kind of nice, especially with the diplomatic reputation plus two, which will allow you to annex quite fast. If you don't want to go for a military idea as your, uh, as your what, as your fifth idea, what is it going to go for a fifth idea as a military, then followed by a diplomatic idea? No, as your sixth idea, sorry, not fifth. But yeah, this is pretty much the standard build up. There are no variations unless you want to go for a military idea first, which I don't do not recommend simply because you don't have the points from the the uh, the leader here. You have just one point of military, and you won't be able to, to catch up with uh, military points and with military tech as well to basically split them between techs and ideas, and you're gonna fall behind on both, which is not that great. Now, 
other notable options. They don't exist unless you want to go for a deep idea first, but I recommend defense because you're gonna use vassals for the majority of the time. And that is it for ideas. Pretty pretty standard expansion ideas. Nothing much more to say here. Although, let it be noted that although it's not that uh, recommended, you can go for the new world quite easily uh, if you actually move all the way from, uh, from Sweden to Norway and move all the way into this side and move to Iceland. So, though it's far-fetched, you can go for influence followed by enemy, followed by exploration, followed by uh, expansion. Let it be noted, you can pull this stuff out of the bag as well. Uh, although it's better for you to just go influence, admin, religious, or influence, religious, admin. To have the holy worship there. Both of them are fine. It's more recommended to actually get uh, for uh, for a huge amount of uh, of uh, land from from this guys basically, and move all the way to China. Uh, as you can see in my territory campaign, although I have movement moved uh, into the new world and I have control of the Caribbean and Mexico, I all the trade power that I push is gonna go into the English Channel trade node, and I have zero control into the English Channel trade node. So that's gonna be really annoying. Other than this, there's nothing much, much, there's nothing much more to say on ideas. Let's switch to missions and decisions. As you can see here, here you can form the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, and you can enforce it. This is done diplomatically. This is done militarily. You have to have a PU with uh, Poland to form it uh, diplomatically, or you want to have control over Krakow, Warsaw, Danzig, and Marienburg to actually uh, have stability at a tree and have Albin Tech to actually form the colony of there. Pretty much standard stuff here. Uh, getting a PU over Poland is, of course, the most efficient one. Other than this, you have some missions, uh, mainly to basically uh, recover some lands that you lost kill the Livonian Order, uh, some events that are more part of the Commonwealth events and some for the Protestant and uh, mainly religious and you have some alliances with, uh, with uh, Sweden as well. Pretty much decent stuff, only some alliances with Austria, Prussia, basically not that much important. Uh, something with Poland, uh, civil war in Lithuania as well. Uh, plagues and uh, one for pietism basically to actually have uh, uh, what should I say it uh, it's for uh, lust of stability and uh, you gain uh, pietism for uh, if you have Protestant or reformed pretty much standard stuff there uh, other than this there's not much to say on mission decisions everything is just standard for stability and expansion just uh, reduce some exhaustion if you really need to, boost ability to 1, and here if you go to I recommend going for the global central increase plus 20, pretty much standard here. Uh, nothing much more to say on stability and expansion or religious. Remember that you have to convert this, as you can see here, it's quite annoying. Try to go for religious unity here and gain them. Come on, man. Yeah, that doesn't work. Try to uh, maximize the unity here by taking uh, regions that are uh, easily converted. For example, you'll gain 1% uh, here, so you can go for this one. It's gonna go in 40 months, and you're gonna gain 0.6 if you actually go for this in 37 months. So it's more efficient to go for this one. For example, try to keep that in mind. Other than this, nothing much more to say. You can become the defender of the faith. Pretty much standard stuff here, Catholic. You can switch to Protestant later on, which I recommend. Or you can become the HRE Emperor and not switch to Protestant. It's up to you how you want to pull it off. Though Protestant is a little bit more efficient, I would say. If you can become an HRE Emperor after it. For military here, you have a force limit of 33 uh, with 24 uh, standing regiments and the naval force limit of 12 with uh, 10 ships. Uh, here you can build building some more uh, in the galleys so you can actually fight Crimea and uh, kill them faster. And then uh, they're not going to be needed that much. Later on you can actually try to move your ships from Black Sea to the Baltic Sea. Simply because you're going to control more, more trade trade there. And you'll want to push trade or keep trade into the Black Sea trade node. 
or you can also move to Venice if you want to. It depends on the situation. We'll talk about this in the expansion guide there. For me right here, uh, try to build more troops when you have maximum manpower. For now you have a huge amount of force limit and a decent amount of troops, so you don't need to increase your, your manpower. If you feel the need to, you can also build mercs to save on manpower. This should be done if you don't want to have that many advisors, but, but earlier on, early on, you should try to have as many advisors as possible. And that is it on military right here. You have also two forts right now. Uh, I haven't talked about them because they will help you keep Moscovy at bay to some degree. Like, keep Moscovy at bay. If you want to, you can kill them both. If I would have played the, the game myself, I would have killed both the forts in, uh, that you have, simply because they are not needed that much. Uh, once you've taken more forts, you can actually have some more vassals in this, into this region here, so there are plenty of options that you can pull off. Other than this, uh, there's nothing much more to say on military here. Uh, you can try to make your uh, leader into a general if you want to die, him to die fast. It's up to you how you want to pull it off. You might want to switch your... Uh, you might... You can. You can switch your... Uh, what's it called? Your dynasty to Habsburg if you manage to kill that guy while you have an alliance with Austria and royal marriage. And you can actually perhaps switch to, uh, to Habsburg. That is doable as well. Plenty of doable stuff. Make sure that you, if you want to do this, uh, do it while you have a pew with Poland. So that you actually have the pew already with Poland. And then you can actually get a pew with Austria as well. Plenty of, of standard stuff on that side there. Other than this, there's nothing much more to say on military. And nothing, uh, we already went to the estates. Remember that you can become the HRE Emperor. If you can actually get some alliances with these guys here, with the Brandenburg, with Bohemia as well. So you can actually get some alliances there. Unfortunately, Bohemia actually rivaled the uh, Poland, so that's not going to be possible anymore. But it's doable. If you can want, you can become the HRE Emperor if you have an alliance with both Bohemia and Brandenburg, and you have increased the uh, opinion with them. Remember that these guys usually rival themselves, so try to pick one of the three guys here. Either Bohemia, two of these guys here, sorry. Brandenburg, Bohemia, or Saxony. Then you can become the... You can become the... The HR Emperor quite easily. Uh, other than this, some more stuff to say and some warnings. Be careful of your uh, religious unity. You're gonna have some issues. Uh, you're currently at 60%, so that's gonna cause you some problems. But you can keep uh, lands that are part of your own religion in, in check. Later on, you might want to have some vassals here. Pretty much standard stuff. I'm Chevalier. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time, guys. Ciao.